Okay, I have gotten to the end of where I've added her hair at the back, and I may wind, this is the one, the head that will go on the stocking. I'm, I've also been working on the ornaments that are the companion to the stocking, and the ornament, um, I may take the hair down farther, but uh, you gotta do at least that much. So I wanted to show you, I've pulled my thread back up here, and I'm, I'd am i kind of like to make it look a little straight. Here you can see it doesn't look really very straight. So above her bangs, I'm going to create the little, because she's going to have bangs, so that right away makes it look like I did a much straighter seam. And I started it, you know, a couple of strands up here because she's going to have some that fold down to be bangs. So now I'm going to hide my knot for that over here on the side. Sorry, I hope. And just bury that, come back up through here. Okay. So the instructions have you take two of the forward strands to be her bangs. And I'm just making sure I only have two there and two here. She's a pretty girl. And the rest of these are going to have to come, you can see, they're going to have to come down here to cover her up. That's why I needed it to be thicker. Uh, anyhow, so this is where you do a lot of pinching with your fingernails. Just pinching the thread there. And you can always go shorter, but you can't go longer. So... I will continue to work on this to make those lay a little nicer. Uh, so we'll work on that. So the next thing I'm going to do is do the braids. So um, I'm going to rough up this edge like I've done before because chances are her hair is not going to lay perfectly in that area. I don't want that line to be real obvious, the same, you know, just rough up the felt a little and, and push the part that I've roughed up back towards the top of her head. I just don't want that real harsh line showing there for the times when you don't get it right there. You know, this may actually be a case where you wind up using a little glue once the hair is in place. Um, to hold it where you need it to be. What you're going to do is you're going to do the little red ties here and then braid it. So I haven't cut those yet, so let me do that and we'll play with her hair. Okay, I'm starting to braid and I realized um, that I wanted to do something to kind of hold her hair in place uh, while I'm doing it. And I'm going to do a little stay stitching with the whole mass. So I brought my I buried my needle behind here with a couple strands of matching floss, and I've looped. I came up right about eye level. I've looped it around her hair, and I'm bringing the needle out over here to do the other side. And when I pull it through. And I did play a little bit over on this side with straightening it out. I used a cuticle stick that I have in my stash of wonderful tools to try and lay this flat without using a needle that might catch it and pull it. 
and I'll pull it a little tight and then I'll have a nice place to work from to do my braid. So I'm going to do that over on this side and then tie that knot off and hide it and then we'll braid her hair. Okay, so I've separated out the strands to embroider and I'm just thinking as I do this, I want to make sure I haven't made this real tight. I want to make sure it can lay there. Okay, so I'm going to braid her hair. And you may, just like with regular hair, need to comb things out. As you go. She's got very full braids because I made her hair thicker. <clears throat> I used more floss than the pattern. So I have my little cording that I made <clears throat> and I'll tie it here. Once I decide the length, let me just look at the picture a little bit. I've made mine longer, not the end of the world. The hard part's going to be matching the other side to where I'm at with this one. And I would do a regular square knot. And then the bow. So, of course, that's bigger than I need. So, we'll pull the loops back. And just play with it. And then wherever you decide to leave it, knot your ends for these tassels uh, before you cut them. So uh, and the knots will stay on there just like they are down here. But I won't do that till I get to the end. I want to try and make them as much the same. And I'm worried, you know, about keeping good coverage on top of her head. So Gonna make sure in the end that I really like how that looks and I'll tackle the other side. Okay, I wanted to finish her up and I thought I would show you uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, if you have an ironing board, you could kind of pin her tails here while you tie them and tighten them. And then I'm going to uh, pick where I want to tie this cording off because I want the, it to have a little frayed end to it. So I've kind of looked at where the uh, bows end and I've just picked a spot to try and make it even. Oops, I've moved the camera. And uh, not always easy to use your big fingers on these little places but what I want you to see is I hold the knot where I want it to be using a needle let the knot kind of go to the area and then tighten it there and of course these are longer than the other ones 
You just can't get things to come out at the same place all the time. And then I also am going to trim her hair and hope that I like where I trim it. And you can see I've got my handy little cuticle stick. If I, you could use a needle, you just have to be real careful that you don't grab areas and you just can always make them shorter but you can't make them longer. Okay, so I'm going to use my stick to fluff out things. And like I said, if you use a needle, you have a tendency to grab things. So I'm going to fluff out the ends of her hair and then the ends of the corded ribbon get pulled out of the twisting so they are fringed looking and I did most of her bangs I have one left up here I'm gonna untwist that floss and she has much prettier bangs I'll probably trim these up a little bit oh you just can't have that in your eyes oh she's adorable there you go. Dorothy's head is done. And she looks pretty good from the back, even though you really won't see that. Voila! Okay, so here's Dorothy's head sewn in place. <laughs> Doesn't she look beautiful? And I just wanted to point out again, when she's hanging up here, um, on the stocking. I'm not plastering her head in place. I don't want to ruin the braid, but I'm going to rough up this printed ink on the felt so that line isn't so harsh so that if people see from a certain angle um, they won't really notice that line hopefully. I'm just rubbing the point of my needle along that printed ridge from the ink and it really helps diminish it. And let me just give you a nice view of Dorothy. She looks pretty good.